What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Wednesday. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Sammy. And if you're if you're used to this type of content and this type of shenanigans, you know that today is Fantasy Wednesday. And boy, do we love our Fantasy Wednesdays. And we're actually continuing with our own theme of Disney classics. That's right. Today we're going to be watching. There's no there's no delay. We're going to be watching Cinderella. Yep, that's right. So it was first with Sleeping Beauty, and then we have Bambi, we have Dumbo, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and now we got to watch Cinderella. Now, I know two things about this film. One is that there's a dance, and the second is that there's a slipper. Other than that, I have no clue what else is there in this film. But uh, just a small little comment regarding this Fantasy Wednesdays. I would love what we're doing with all these animation because I never used to like watch. I never had an appetite for watching animation films. So this is really awesome. The fact that you guys are so passionate about it and that I'm getting to like it as well. And I think that's really, really cool. You know, next week, you know, we might just watch a live action one. You know, you know whether it's the uh, the uh, 2014 Maleficent or whether it's you know Wizard of Oz. I've always wanted to check out that film, or whether it is um you know uh red shoes you know you just never know there there's so many great uh films that used to be that, that used to be they are classics and also studio ghibli there's like a lot of films i've never checked out a single one can you believe it not a single one so i, I have a lot to catch up on for fantasy wednesdays akira i've never seen akira so you know these are these are really great you know cinematic gems that i've been told to watch and I'm so glad that you guys are, you know, watching them with me and that you're cheering me. Up. Well, you're not. You guys are really pushing me, you know, to to watch these films. And I thank you so much for that. You know, if you want to continue to support the channel, the one way you are already doing it is by watching it. And, you know, there are other ways that you can do it just by subscribing, by liking, by hitting that bell so that every time I upload, you get notified and so on and so forth. But if you don't want to, that's fine. That's completely fine. But I thank you from my heart uh, for all that you have done. But without any further delay, Captain. Captain, we're not delaying the ship anymore. Because we have this loaded. I hope you guys do too. Because, oh, well, I'm going to predict that I'm going to be charmed by the end of this film. Uh, but we are... Hey, go! Cinderella, you're as beautiful and as lovely as your name. You are <laughs> your sunset in the frame. Hey, listen, if you're a graphic designer, all those graphic designers out there, if you don't appreciate, the, the, I mean, you gotta appreciate these like opening titles. The fact that like these people who are being given credit to their name is so well, like there's a font to it. I like the background. I love the song that's accompanying it. This is beautiful. Oh, that's quite some force. Uh, okay, that okay. They're 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 pushing the, the Cinderella and the sweetest story ever told. Look at that! It's already twice that we're now seeing the the slipper at the center of the stage, and now we have back the opening book. Peaceful, prosperous, and rich in romance and tradition. I think this is the first time it's being narrated instead of us just reading it, so that's pretty cool. Choosing for his second wife, a woman of good family, with two daughters just Cinderella's age, Anastasia and Drizella. Uh-oh, Dr <laughs> Anastasia and Drizella don't look like they like their new stepsister. Uh, uh, okay, okay, question, question. They, I, I can already tell they're going to be the... They don't look so good, so they're going to probably deny her. Okay, but w what would have made the father marry her? Is it a desperation or the, maybe the stepmother just re was really good in wooing the father? While Cinderella was abused, humiliated, and finally forced to become a servant in her own house. Are you kidding me? Abused, humiliated, and forced to be a servant in her own house? Wow. 
someday her dreams will come true. So now we're starting off with Cinderella at a bad place. Th- this is pulling no punches. This is like, it's, yeah, it's a cool, like, yeah, you're reading the storybook, but this is depressing. Like her blanket has sewn patches on it. Are you kidding me? Because if you tell a wish, it won't come true. Okay, yeah, that's part, that's, that's, that's like part of my own problem is I never remember my dreams, even though they're good. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams, that's right. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're also, they're also mesmerized by it, but like this is their, this is their morning tune. The dream. I think I think what's also kind of impressive, you know, just like Hugh Jackman for modern time is that the one who is narrating and, you know, b- the voiceover who provided the voiceover for Cinderella is also able to sing really well. Time to start another day. Even he orders me around. Wow. Okay. I think this is the first time we're seeing like a princess, the grumpy side of a princess. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, again, I think the the optimism, uh, like beyond the lessons and the good virtues and characteristics, the optimism that is displayed by these young women and these um, um, these um, films, these Disney classics, is something that's completely universal. It's completely timeless, and so it's wa- just just wonderful. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Her voice changed when the water splashed. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Again, I, I like to see that there's some type of continuity with, you know, you know the, the birds, the dwarves, or what have you, like animals, and like your entire ecosystem helping you get ready with your day or helping you somehow. Now, Jack, what's all the fuss about? The rest of the house. Brand new. Never saw- new mouse in the house, Jack, man, Jack. <laughs> what's this accent that you have? Okay, okay. You guys need to let me know how did how did how did the voice actor do that? Oh dear me! Look at that. That's you're in her room and it seems so innocent and so happy. She's singing songs and then she comes out and this is what you have. Like this is this is this is it's. Horrible. Zook Zook Cinderella. Now, now, now. Look a little. Zook Zook Cinderella. Come on. What is this? <laughs> what is this type of talk? Octavius. But for short, we'll call you Gus. Racket, Gus, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, Gus, Octavius, Gus. That's a pretty cool name. I like how how quickly they adopted him and how quickly he has a personality. He's like, hey man, you want to fight? You want to fight? He got he got caught in a rat trap. Yeah, okay, for some odd reason, he reminds me of Polly and Rocky. I don't know. Don't ask me why. He just reminds me of him. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, you can tell the 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 difference. A uh, beautiful shot of the shadow. I like that a lot. But man, the difference in terms of the color and the uh, like, the direction, like deep purples, deep blues, seems very cold, seems very detached, like long and stuff. Very, 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 very evocative type of art. Come, kitty. Come on. Oh, this guy doesn't take commands from. Are you kidding me? His name is Lucifer. The cat's name is Lucifer. Okay, that's that's okay. So you have faith. You have Lucifer. Yeah, this is very, this is becoming very biblical right here. Okay, yeah, these accents are just hilarious. Just just having them call Lucifer short for Liz Lucifer Lucifer. <laughs> it's it's funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> this, this dog is suffering from like some type of PTSD or some type of sleep deprivation. So if you don't want to lose a nice warm bed, you better get rid of those dreams. Are you kidding me, man? He has to completely like, 
Like, what do you mean, let go of dreams? How do you let go of dreams? Like, if you don't like a cat, you don't like a cat. There's nothing you can do. Hmm. There must be something good about him. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like how even Cinderella came to us like, okay, I can't think of anything good about this cat. This cat is this cat is a lazy piece of trash. No, but but that's a good lesson, like to to be able to look at uh, something good in anyone. That's a that's a that's a good virtue and characteristic. Yeah, it literally, it literally, she's the mother to the like motherless. She's the mother to the helpless. She, she's such a wonderful character that's so all encompassing. Wow. Yeah, I like, I like, how, I like how they had the layer and the cobwebs and the nail. But you can tell like they're just so happy that they, they forgo like the circumstances of where they're actually living maybe they don't forgo it but it's just the reality but there's still so much gratitude in just something as simple as breakfast now we choose a way to do it a b d b Huh? Look at that, they're already the A team right now. They're already creating a diversion plan and who's who's going out to sacrifice themselves. <laughs> Look at that! They're 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 already treating him like he's dead or something. <laughs> Look at that, just drinking, drinking with uh, one drip, one drip at a time. Oh no, yo, <laughs> yo, Jack, Jack, Jack is, Jack knows what he's doing. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He has been through this before. <laughs> Oh, come on now. Is Gus gonna get anything at this point? <laughs> come on, come on. He's gotta get something. I need to know <laughs> who voiced who voiced Gus and who voiced Jack. Oh no, come on, no, 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 Gus, you have enough, you have enough, boy, come on, no greedy, no greedy. Nah, it's like, yeah, it all fell apart, come on now, Gus, now you got, now, now you got the attention of Lucifer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's like, it's like, look, it's like looking at him with a big, like, sharp teeth, like a shark. Gah, gah, gah. Oh come on, come on now, Gus. <laughs> this this is Jaws right here. <laughs> Jaws before Jaws. <laughs> oh my goodness, these these girls don't give her a break, man. This is horrible. Look at that. She's so capable. She just went out of a tiny like door with three trays in her hand. Hopefully Lucifer doesn't do anything to mess it up. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, is that is that going to be a reference to the shoe later? I don't know. Take that ironing and have it back in an hour. Ooh, Drizel. <laughs> You can tell Griselda's voice ain't that pretty. Well, well, I mean, look at her. She's she's she hides and she asks for chore. Like you can tell, not bad apple. Look at that, so mean, man. Okay, I okay, I kind of wonder: Is Lucifer gonna change like attitudes in his arc? Is he gonna start to appreciate Cinderella a little bit more? Ooh, somebody aged themselves. <laughs> The two sister looks really old, and woof, man, those were big Hobbiton feet. Poor little Gus. Oh, Lucifer, won't you ever learn? Look at that. L L Lucifer is actually like the devil, literally, li like la lazy, conniving, like, well, like mischievous, tries to scheme against everyone. This is uh, practically Lucifer.
Whoa, I like that. That's a good vantage point. Did you see that? The shadow actually looked like a jail cell. That's subliminal messaging right there. I like that. Again, very cold, very separated. You can tell even the colors, purp like dark purple, dark blue, like a very, very strong symbolism, I, w I would assume. Perhaps we can put it to better use. Now, let me see. Oh no, what does she have in mind? What is this? She she just blames her for everything and now say, like, okay, okay, you have time for more use? Okay, okay, use it to clean everything. Another thing, another beautiful, uh, I like that. I like the separation between the elements. Uh, a good parallax effect. My son has been avoiding his responsibilities long enough. It's high time he married and settled down. Oh, dude looks like the guy from um, um, Sleeping Beauty. And, well, his temper is the same. Well, and it seems like they're going to have somebody like the drunk guy. Uh, like a good, a, a, a interesting assistant. Grow farther and farther and farther away from you. That's, that, that was nice. <laughs> what do you say? Farther, farther, farther. <laughs> Uh, the, the way to keep his own prince, clo uh, his child close to him was to enlarge the painting. His silly romantic ideas? But, but, sire... Oh, come on now. Well, what is that supposed to mean? That's that's a little bit harsh. You can't do that. Meeting a girl under the right conditions. So, we're arranging the conditions. But, but your majesty... That right there is called... <laughs> that right there is called arranged marriage, my dude. Yeah, okay, well, it's up to you. <laughs> well, he really wants his grandchildren, so this guy's gonna, this guy's not gonna stop at anything. Yeah, you can tell their own, uh, their voice and the way they play is not very good. Beautiful sequence. I love this, and it's taking all plays in a bubble. Like again, you ha you gotta love these sequences. Like midway throughout the movie, Dumbo had it. You know where they they go into this like really cool like trippy um, sequence. Wow, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Oh, I'm assuming also she wants uh, one of the two daughters to marry the prince, right? And obviously the prince is going to fall for Cinderella. After all, I'm still a member of the family. And it says, by royal command, every eligible maiden is to attend. There you go. Fight for your rights, Cinderella. I promise. And if you can find something suitable to wear... I'm sure I can. There you go. The animals must now, like, help her. Help her. We need to get all the work done. And we need to get a dress. Right, I'm coming. Poor Cinderella. Every time she finds a minute, that's the time when they... Exactly. Every time she finds a minute, that's when they want to steal it. Do the bopping. You, you gotta admit, when rats feel sympathy for you, you you know you're doing bad. Like, uh, you know, well, it's not to say rats are like the bottom of the barrel, but not many people treat rats so well, right? And if a rat feels sympathetic and empathetic for you, buddy, you, uh, um, I, I, you deserve all of it. <laughs> Again, you have the same thing where where you get the animals making uh, like yeah, again another pattern is right. It's it's the 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 involvement of everybody else but the main character in the side props or or like the main the like, gowns or what have you. Mother, I don't see why everybody else seems to have such nice things to wear, and I always end up in these old rags. This set. Look at that. They're even complaining about the clothes they have, even even though they have so much, right? It's, uh, it's like, <laughs> with privilege, uh, sometimes uh, it's not so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Like Lucifer, Lucifer, uh, like don't get me wrong, he is. It genuinely looks like he likes when he gets to chase the mouse. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, daddy. 
Look at that. Again, uh, two is better than one at this time. Speed, I don't think, can work again. Like four, Lucy. <laughs> because, uh, well, uh, the, the, rat, uh, the mouse are smarter. Wow, I like that. I like that they had that shot. That was a brilliant shot. <laughs> Again, minutia, but interesting minutia. Yes? The carriage is here. Oh. Oh man, the way she, the way she said it was is so it felt it felt so down. I felt so sad for her. Oh, just wait, just wait until, wait until she comes out and she looks, she looks like fire. There you go, look at that reveal. It's like golden light shining behind her, beauty. Now remember, when you're presented to his highness, be sure. Wait. Look at that, all of them were like, what, are you kidding me? Look at how beautiful she is. No, I don't, I think she's... Oh, look, yeah, she, she finally got it through her head. That is a, hey, those are those are hers. Oh man, this is terrible. Are you kidding me? Ah, that's so mean. Good night. Oh, she ought to just jump out of this place and. <laughs> She ought to give them poison. Well, no, no, obviously not, but she ought to do something. No, it is true. It's oh, what what are what are all the, what are all those like uh, stars coming just uh, what what does that mean? This, I can even notice the color is changing. No way! That's the good. That's that's a good fairy. I always... Why then you must be your fairy godmother. Ah, uh, amazing! Fairy godmother has come to save the day. I forgot. I put it away. Oh, I like that. Uh, nice reveal. <laughs> Somebody's a magician. Oh no way! That's that's pretty cool. Uh, so, <laughs> the the magical pumpkin that like comes dancing. Carriage. It's a carriage now. Wow, beau That's pretty cool animation. I have to give it that. I have to give it that. Uh, a magical pumpkin becomes a, a beautiful carriage. Oh, no, 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 Wow, she t she can turn horses to humans. This is what? Okay, the <laughs> fairy godmother is incredibly powerful. She's OG. Whoa, my oh, gosh! Ooh, man, she knows what she's doing. Say, God, fairy godmother knows what she's doing. Uh, she, look at that, decked out. On the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it Oh, that's fine. Uh, till twelve o'clock, she, she'll, she'll find the prince. Are you kidding me? Looking like that? Are you kidding me? Anybody will fall for her. Dance, be gay. Now off you go. You're on your way. All right, question is, what time is it right now? So if it's like, yeah, she has to make, she has to make time quickly. But then, hey man, anybody who goes out with Cinderella, it's gonna be amazing. Now I'm kind of curious, what 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 is the shoe all about? What where does the shoe come in? Christina Dubois, the daughter of General Pierre Dubois. Oh, okay, okay, this seems a little bit weird if you ask me. <laughs> What's going on? Man, all the all these uh, maidens are coming up to him, just presenting themselves, and he's just. Bowing his head and wait 
till he sees Cinderella. You're ki- yo, that's so yo, that's a little bit disrespectful right there. This guy just yawned and looked at his dad father. Come on, son. Daughters of Lady Tremaine. Oh, this guy, this guy just rolled his eyes. <laughs> This guy just rolled his eyes. Oh man, he was like, oh, "Whoa, whoa, why did you, why did you guys even attempt this?" Who she is or whence she came, he knows not, nor does he care. But his heart tells him that here, here's. Here you go. His heart tells him, "Follow your heart." Now look at, look at that. Look, it's a beautiful, beautiful shot. I like that. Take a look at. Pompous windbag. <laughs> Another beautiful shot, you pompous windbag. I like that. I like that through his through his eyeglass, he can see them. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. Wow, amazing! The prince just goes for it. This guy goes for it. <laughs> but I know I've never seen her. No lie. But she certainly is. What? Look at that! She's so, she's so beautiful. She's so, she's so elegant that they don't even recognize her. This is what makes life oh, not, not, dude! Are you looking at this? A beautiful shot, beautiful foreground, background, and then plus that the shadow. Woo, woo. Oh my goodness! Back to back, you had you, you see you see the animators could clearly just have had them walk by the side, not in, not behind the 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 waterfall, but they just they just, they just said you know what this is 1950, we we, we we we're just too good. Oh, there we go. The clock has struck twelve. And now the question is: Is the prince going to accept her as she is? Oh, please come back. I don't even know your name. How will I find you? Wait, please wait. That just now, that running action was really, really human-like. That was beautiful. It looked like it was like rotoscoped from a human. I don't know if rotoscope was the right word. Sorry, but it looked like it at least. Oh, she just made it out in time. Well, well, it's it's kind of, kind of you know heartwarming. Also, like you know, Cinderella genuinely doesn't want to show the state that she's in. That she's like a a servant, and she doesn't want to show where she lives and stuff. But eventually, like if the prince truly loves her for who she is, he would accept. Oh well, it's over and. <laughs> Look, 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 look. Whoa, how's her, how's her, how's her slipper still? Oh, that's that's kind of weird. I'm I'm, assu- I'm assuming he, uh, Prince is still gonna be holding on to that uh, shoe as well. Wow, that's a, that's a 2001 Space Odyssey uh, uh, bed right there. He has man, that's a huge room. <laughs> And what a what a dream to have! You're dreaming of playing with your grandchildren. Well, I I I genuinely hope his wish comes true. Sire, she got away. So she got away. A peculiar title, but if that's what you. Oh, there, there you go. There he got away. He was about to knight him, and <laughs> and the one thing the one thing he is his only job. All we could find was this glass slipper. The whole thing was a plot. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what mattress the king is using. Like, jeez, man, they can fly that high? That's amazing. <laughs> but sire, this slipper may fit any number of girls. Oh, unless unless fairy godmother made a custom-made slipper. But don't just stand there. Bring up the breakfast trays at once. And hurry. Wow, what was with this immediate like uh, disrespect right now? <laughs> well, well, there, there's something going on, and she wants her own daughters to be a part of it. Drizella, Drizella, uh, what? No wonder, no wonder their feet is so outrageously big, like a hobbit. Not even the prince 
knows who that girl is. Wiggle, wiggle, Cinderella, Cinderella. Yeah, yeah, yo, what, 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 what is, <laughs> what is mom gonna do? What, what is shrink their feet for some? What I have like a mannequin foot replacement? And there's nothing you can do. Cinderella, get my things Uh, look at that! Look at that! She all she's she never she already knows. She already knows. And I like how Griselda and Anastasia's room is like this. It's like this uh, drab Barbie pink. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty depressing as well. Oh no! Look at that! Stepmom is going obviously to sabotage her. What is she gonna do? Amputate her legs? <laughs> And I like I like this like the where 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 um uh, where Cinderella is living. It almost reminds me of Vertigo, like that clock tower thing. What? Oh, oh no! No! Oh come on oh, yeah. now! She locked him right in the. Okay, how is she gonna get out now? She there must be an escape route. Anastasia, you crazy. Is the amount of wrinkles they have is <laughs> it's quite astounding. Oh, this is Mission Impossible right here. <laughs> he has to get the key and, uh, well, let's see what's going to happen. May we offer you some tea? What? Tea? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Scolding hot tea was going to was gonna burn Gus. I knew it was my slipper. Oh, it's exactly my size. I always wear the same size. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Her foot is gigantic. I, I, I actually kind of love how Gus is so new, but then he's, he's like working so hard just to get Cinderella the right, the like what she deserves. It's kind of inspiring. How did you ever manage to... <gasps> Lucifer, let him go, Lucifer. Oh my, just, just saying that in a sentence, let him go, Lucifer. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard not to not to draw comparisons to like biblical uh, references. <laughs> oh, look at that! He didn't anticipate that, did he? <laughs> but I like how he just blew out the the candle. That was pretty cool. I'll make it fit. It fits. It fits. Oh my goodness! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly large, unattractive feet. Well, well, we cannot, we cannot say that, but it just doesn't fit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> did you just see how? Did you see how far he fell down? Well, cats have like this natural ability to like fall down from specific heights, uh, like and not get hurt. But come on, you can't tell me he survived that. Oh, pay no attention to her. It's only Cinderella. Uh, scullery. From the kitchen. It's ridiculous. Oh, look at that. And I, I like that. Yeah, again, through the, through the eye thing. <laughs> oh, no. my goodness. You're kidding me. No. Oh, no. But she has the other pair, doesn't she? Nothing. But you see... I have the other slipper. There you go. There ya go. Fits like a glove. Beautiful. There you go. Happily ever after the wishes have come true. Have faith in dreams. Again, another. <laughs> I don't know a lot of a lot of uh, songs that use the word faith, but that well, besides religious songs and um, well, maybe Bon Jovi, uh, but it's it's actually very 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 inspiring, very very encouraging, very very biblical. And look at that, they lived happily ever after. Another beautiful story, a closed book, closed chapter, the end. Boom. And we're done, son. Okay. Thoughts. Um. Uh, this is a very, very, very. Um. Let's say. Um. Okay. So there is obviously similarities with Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty had an 
epic, epic ending. But I would say this film, what I like about it is that it really um, actually goes behind the curtain as to how does how does um, Cinderella feel and all the like doubt she has and all the ups and downs. Like it's it's not like Snow White level, like where the entire forest was like, well, like alligators and stuff, and they animated into this decrepit uh, monsters and stuff. But even with Cinderella, like uh, there are points where you, you like you feel for her. Like I felt for her when um, like she was doing all the chores and she did not know the mice had uh, already made her own um, like uh, the, the, the pink, the pink gown. And she was like, yeah, OK, all is done. Uh, and then she just left. And then, you, you know, just the way she expressed her like a uh, line and stuff, you felt very sad for her. And there are periods in this film that are not so happy. And and like it, it, another thing, uh, again, it goes back to like uh, her, her expressing herself and, you know, like ah, this, this is never going to come true. I, I just really want to be there. And this is her one ticket out. And the, the one way to do it is to do like, truly and honestly believe in your dream and like to never give that up and I, I i really like this again another thing that i'm pretty curious about is how old is cinderella in the story and how old is the prince i don't think that really matters but uh, i genuinely think that you know m most of the stories take place you know in their teen years and i think that's also when like a, a lot of like that's when the best qualities like uh well not the best qualities but that's like a good breeding ground to be like build foundation for qualities and leadership and characteristics and then again uh like cinderella she she's everything she's kind gentle she she has a great relationship with animals and the ecosystem and nature um she she truly believes she's independent hard worker um again she was she was at a certain status and then she was brought down but then she doesn't complain she's a trooper what more can you say she's a trooper just like snow white is a trooper just like uh sleeping beauty is a trooper aurora prince aurora, uh, princess aurora but um uh, what more can be said uh i think i think this is probably among sleeping beauty and snow white this is the one film that i knew something about it like two things that there was a ball and that there was a, something got to do with a slipper uh well like a shoe and uh, like but I do not know how they uh, that combined, especially the shoe. So, so just uh, w seeing it all connect to one another was kind of beautiful. And obviously, the the fun banter that you know Gus had, uh, Gus had, and uh, Jack as well. Uh, I again, uh, I don't want to like compare this to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but the Seven Dwarfs uh, again, like look at how much personality those Seven Dwarfs, each one of those Seven Dwarfs had, is the same, almost the same thing with this film is the mice they all have like personalities but we get to really know and i i like uh, like i've uh, developed a uh, like fond fondness for gus and stuff and like his stick to itiveness but you know what you guys let me know what you guys think about it i know you guys are insanely passionate and i i genuinely love that you are um i, I i'm so glad this is another disney classic under the belt but uh for next week we might check out wizard of oz actually that is the one that is the front runner right now but yeah do let let me know what other films I should be checking out on the under the fantasy column. You know, Studio Ghibli. That's something that I'm, you know, very much looking forward to watching. Doesn't matter even if it's like a foreign film. It's a film worth watching. And I thank you so much for your support. You know, if you would like to continue, you can subscribe, you can like, hit that bell icon so you know every time I'm uploading. Um, but uh, just to leave you with uh, a few words from Cinderella uh, herself, you know, have faith in your dreams, keep believing, and your dreams will come true. Um, um, but don't tell your wishes to anyone, because then they won't. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. And uh, make sure all your shoes fit. But other than that, I want to leave you with two bunny ears, you know, and saying peace give you go Popeyes woohoo and then after that um, um, uh, what can I give I will I'll just give a I'll just give, I'll you know what I'll give a I'll give the prince smile I'll give the prince smile what's up you cinephiles 
Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And, you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So, you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.